Welcome to Chris BI. My name is Chris Wagner, and I am here with Dax. And today we're going to be talking about how you connect to Power BI data marts using SSMS or really any database querying tool that's out there. Oh, can't wait to get into it. Let's check it out. Hey, man, if you're just chilling, trying to figure out some stuff about Power BI, well, man, I got the right channel for you. This is the stuff. Like it, subscribe, you know, turn on the alarm bell. You know, come back. Don't miss any of the future videos. This is the place to be. It's all good, man. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. So this is your query tool. You're used to using it for all sorts of things. Man Management Studio has been around for like ever and a day. This is a fantastic tool when it comes to connecting a SQL server, uh, writing queries, managing databases, all that stuff. You're saying, hey, Chris, I know how I connect to a database with this, but I want to connect to a Power BI data mark. Can you show me how to do that? <laughs> Don't worry, I got you. All right, so first thing first, fire up Management Studio so you're ready to go. Then I want you to head over to the Power BI service. And then uh, once you're in, we want to go into your workspace that has the Power BI data mark in it. Scroll on down to where you have your Power BI data marts. And then we're going to be clicking on this ellipses and going into the settings. Notice we'll do that quite a bit. It's a common pattern. It goes settings. And right here inside of the, uh, the settings, we have server settings, all right? This URL is going to give you your connection string to connect to that database. All right, so I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to pop right back over to my management studio. I'm going to click on connect and click on database engine. And here's where I'm going to paste in my, uh, that what we just copied over. You're going to see it's databart and PBI dedicated that windows that net, and then some long GUI of whatever your database was that's managed in the back end. some notes. Uh, when it comes to authenticating, you have to use an Azure Active Directory. Uh, probably you're going to be using Universal with MFA. It's going to be the most, the easiest one for you to, to get up and running. Um, and then you're going to put in your email address. Boom! You're connecting. And right there, now you have access to all of the databases that are, or you're, you're, you have access to your Power BI data mart. Now note, you're not gonna find any tables out here. You're just, all of those tables are kept in the back end. It's managed by Microsoft. You have no access to that stuff. That's, they, they do all the magic sauce there. They do all the database management. You don't have to do any of that stuff. They manage all of that. It's actually incredible. You're gonna find all of your queries are gonna be available inside of the view section right here and you can find all of your your tables that are there so if you wanted you could go back to your power bi data mart scroll in go into your data mart and go over to your query section and you could go and take any of the queries that you've written like here's my complex guy i'm going to hit control a control c to copy it i'm going to go back over i'm going to right click on my database I'm going to say new query. A new query is going to pop up. I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to hit execute. This is a fantastic way to get all of the robust tooling and advantages of, of working in SQL Server Management Studio to be able to query and do stuff against your, your, your Power BI data mark. Notice only query options are available today. At some point in time in the future, I'm sure uh, we're going to get things like create views or uh, maybe even great sort procedures, uh, possibly like persisting keys. Wow, wouldn't that be amazing? Um, but all sorts of things now become available once you have access to uh, run SSMS or connect SSMS or any query tool, because uh, you could use this in Excel. Check out my next video on that one. Uh, you'll see how you can use this type of technique to actually build a data model outside of your outside of a power bi service or even uh inside of some other tools so super excited about that all right i hope you found this this helpful and exciting i know oh <laughs> two cameras 
<laughs> I hope you found this useful and exciting. I absolutely love all the power and capabilities that Power BI Denmark's brings to you as a developer. It's something that, heck, I would have just killed for when uh, a number of times in my career. Now it's something that is out, it's available. Still not GA yet, but boy, I understand it's coming. If you like this video, leave a comment down below, share it with your coworkers. Let me know what you think about Power BI Data Marts. Let me know about how do you connect to use it? Uh, do you connect it to existing databases as uh, like uh, a remote view in so you could do comparisons of data? Uh, that, that's something you can actually do. You can actually connect to it. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other things that you could do with Power BI Data Marts. Uh, because you have this connection string, you have a database name that is uh, available uh, that you can connect to. Uh, tell me, what are you doing with this tooling? I really want to know about it. If you su want to support the channel, uh, head over to carosbi.com, buy me a coffee. That really helps me know that you're in, you love the content that's out there. Uh, I, as a way of saying thank you, I'm going to send you a, a little package of stickers. Uh, some of these things will vary as quantities last. Right now, I still have uh, Deneb stickers that are available this month. Uh, these are flying off the shelves. My wife spends day and night, night and day, stuffing envelopes, filling them and sending them out. I mean, not really, but it, you know, we're sending them out the door. Uh, happy to get those in your hands. Thank you guys so much for your time, energy, and your attention. I really appreciate it. You have a great day now. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.